Hey guys, today we are going to talk a little bit about the hollow position and a progression that you can use to get into a solid hollow body position. The hollow position is important because it's a foundational position in gymnastics that is necessary for basically any higher level gymnastics movement that you want to progress to. So whether it's handstands, muscle ups, pull ups, chest to bar, any gymnastics movement that you're trying to master, that hollow body position is going to be essential in advancing in your gymnastics skills. Just training your core will translate over to pretty much any other weightlifting movement that you do here. One thing that we find with uh, people doing the hollow body position, especially newer athletes, is the low back does not completely touch the ground. So the number one thing with the hollow body position is we want the low back in complete contact with the ground. So when I talk about that, I really mean from kind of the base of my spine up to my mid back, the space in between my shoulder blades, that entire part of my back, we really want to be firmly pressed into the ground. Some hollow body positions that we find that um, are not the ideal hollow body position look something like this. So the athlete will be laid down, body extended, they'll lift up the arms and the legs, but notice there is some space here underneath of my back. I can actually wiggle my hands under and touch my fingers um, to one another. So that's not what we're looking to get. I do feel tension across my core when I'm doing that, um, but it's just not the ideal position. We really wanna lock the core and press it down into the ground. So if you find that you can't get there from the recline position, starting from the ground, what you'll wanna do is start from a seated position instead. So you'll bring your knees into your chest so that your spine starts to round forward just a little bit. And then you'll just lower down to the ground in that tuck position. From here, my core is working. My back is completely sealed to the ground. I can't slide my hands under my back like I could before, so that's good. From here, to make it more challenging, I'll extend my arms out in front of my body, send my legs up towards the ceiling. This is um, is work is definitely good hollow body training to make it more difficult you lower your legs down towards the ground squeezing your toes together squeezing your glutes the moment you want to stop when you know you've gone too far is if this happens you lower and then your shoulders collapse onto the ground and that space between your back and the ground kind of reappears that's when you know that you've gone too far so over time, the more you train this position, you'll be able to lower your legs gradually closer and closer to the ground, keeping that contact between your back, between the ground. And then eventually you'll be able to extend your arms up and over your head to find the full hollow body position. So if you struggle with the hollow body position from the ground, keeping the spine in contact with the floor. Try it next time, coming into it from the top down from a seated position, and then gradually over time, um, increasing the angle of your hips to come into that ideal hollow body position.